Yo, what's going on everybody? It is me, Gregor. Welcome back to another video on the channel, everybody, today. A defensive video. I promised to do one for the longest time, but I'm not going to do a long one. I'm not going to show you everything I know about defensive man 20 in... 21, my bad. In one video, I'm going to break this down, just make it shorter videos, just so you guys can follow more easily, and it's not such a long video. Today, I'm going to show you how to use your blitz in man 21, and kind of what I've learned using the user blitz online a little bit more i'm mean, currently in the 46 defensive playbook and yeah i want to show you how to blitz out of nickel 35 wide now as you guys know it's really good run defense this formation right here nickel 35 wide awesome run defense you're gonna like it a lot and i'm gonna show you how to play pass defense out of it and how to blitz out of it so the first thing that we have to do is we have to make sure that we're in 46 playbook because then we have 35 normal pretty much any playbook that has 35 normal and 35 wide is gonna work i just prefer prefer 46. they want to set one audible mike blitz three right here is going to be our audible for square so just do that perfect and now when we're in the nickel to the five we're going to set our audibles and uh, my bad we spoke uh substitutions because we want to make sure that we have safeties right here at linebacker and cornerbacks in the safety so make sure all these guys in here are cornerbacks and move your safeties to linebackers d line preferably Good, a uh, good uh, pass rushing outside linebacker. Good pass rushing outside linebacker. Amazing pass rushing defensive end. If you can afford it, or um, if you find someone that is really good that has the uh, power rusher archetype and is a left end, you can put inside stuff on this guy right here, and it's going to be a handful to deal with. And this guy right here in the middle is going to be a user. So you want to have, preferably someone like Jamal Adams, Taylor Mays, or just some really fast, really tall uh, safety. Most of them, are, most of those guys are strong safeties. And put him right here. If you put Acrobat on, that's going to give you an even bigger advantage. So we're going to come out in nickel 35 wide. Not bad, normal. I'm going to call it Tampa 2, really just, just doesn't matter. And we're going to come out on offense right here. I mean, the Oakland playbook. I'm going to come out in trip side end because why not? I'm going to come out in double in sale. Play doesn't really matter. Um, the first thing we have to be aware of when we run defense is what are its weaknesses. Um, and I'm going to show you how the blitz comes in first, and then I'm going to show you what the weakness of it is. The blitz is, you're going to, okay, oh, my bad. Let me just walk you through that. You want to press, as soon as you are on, uh, on the field right here, you want to press square. D-pad to the left, so you can audible to 35 wide. And just select uh, Mac Blitz 3, just press X. And now you're on this. Jimmy Ward, this guy is going to be your user. You want to uh, shift the D-line to the left, and you want to slant outside. So this is how the blitz is going to look. And now you guys will see, I'm, have I'm using two controllers, so it's going to be difficult for me to come in quickly. But you will see how this lane just opens up and I'm shooting in. It's really simple. It's not the toughest thing in the world to shoot in. One more time, just going to audible right there. Boom. Press. So shift line to the left. My bad, shift line to the left, and then spread, or slide outside. And now you can see how there's this gap. This gap was really tiny right there, so it's tough to get through. But you guys will see, with practice, you'll get this done pretty easily, pretty quickly. And so right there, if I snap the ball, boom, red sea parts. And now I'm shooting, and now the issue with that is that people have figured out how to block this. It's not difficult to block, in my opinion. Uh, I pretty much never lose to people user rushing me now. Unless they're smart about it, and I'll tell you how, what I mean by being smart about it. I'm just showing you how to uh, quickly block this. So all you have to do is just block your running back and make sure this guy is ID'd. And then if I snap the ball right here, you will see I'm running right into this guy. There's no way for me to await him. And I'm sending six... What am I sending? I'm sending six people. So if, and if my blitz doesn't come in, that's pretty much gu guaranteed for something to be open. So this is why I have to use it sparingly. Alright, and this is what I mean sparingly so i'm gonna do the same thing every time it's gonna look the same every time but sometimes if because i have safeties right here maybe not fred warner um i, I have fred warner right here because he's a decent coverage linebacker and i don't have enough safeties that are good in coverage and then you can just get a little bit creative you can do something like this put this guy right here in a vert hook this guy right here in a hard flat and now it looks the same but i have some coverage on the field so if i snap the ball right here you'll see I'm gonna have ways to cover everything. You see, if it looked the, the exact same, one time he had everyone open because I blitzed at the wrong time, the other time 
I played coverage and he had nowhere to go with the football. So this is where you have to be smart. This is also where it comes in handy that you are in, uh, you have safeties right here because they will actually play zones. Linebackers, if you guys don't know, very bad in zone coverage. They're not going to animate. They're not going to be fast enough to get out to the zones. So it's important you guys really have safeties there. How do you play a trip side end? I'm going to give you one setup against trip side end that I've kind of been using out of this. Uh, just to mix it in, just to mix it up with the use rush. So one thing is I shade over top. Or yes, that's what that's the first thing I do. I, I set up the blitz and then I shade over top. I put this guy right here in a half flat if I'm not blitzing. If I am blitzing, then I'm shading underneath and have this guy right here in a half flat and man this guy up on someone. Uh, but I'm just talking about coverage right here. And then I'm no my bad. I want to blitz that guy. And then I'm going to put this guy right here, Fred Warner, in a vert hook. Either in a vert hook or what you can do is you can man him up on maybe the outside guy or the inside guy. One of those two. And this guy right here, he can either be in a curl flat or I'm going to man him up on. Why? Uh, not a Y, triangle. But really, whatever you do, um, just know which areas of the field can be open. So, for example, with this, I see that uh, this side of the field right here where, where a hook curl or a vert hook would be is going to be open. The middle of the field is going to be open, except for... Uh, any deep routes over the middle of the field, but posts, crosses, you're going to get open across the middle of the field. So that's what I have to worry about. And also, one thing, the hard flat on the left is going to be open. However, only really good players are going to attack the hard flat on the left. So this is kind of like, if I'm playing someone who doesn't know what he's doing, this is my coverage defense. If, of course, this gets a little bit more nuanced and he has flat routes on the left side, I'm, I'm going to have to get a little bit more creative and man this guy up on a hard flat. And then the left side of the field with the curl flat is going to be covered. So then it's it's really a chess game. But this right here is a nice defensive shell to start off with. I'm going to reset the play. I'm going to do everything again. And I'm going to show you uh, some coverage adjustments out of the bits again. What you have to understand is if you use a blitz, you're obviously not going to be have you using coverage. This is then going to make it difficult for you to play defense because a user really does play a big role uh, on defense at a high level especially but a user can just take away a route that he knows is going to be open so if you don't have a zone on the left that's going to cover a cross and you see a cross route coming you have the chance to cover that even if you made the wrong adjustment you might give up something else but at least you're not giving up a 40 yard crosser so this is kind of the value of the user it's one free guy you can do whatever you want with him gives you great, great flexibility now, obviously don't you don't have that but you also know that you're gonna come in pretty fast you're gonna sack the quarterback is not gonna have a lot of time so you really can play you can get away with not defending everything you also will not be able to defend anything so you have to make sure the few zones that you have you maximize their potential this guy right here Jalen Ramsey I want to put him in a hard flat that's the first thing that I do hard flat this guy right here Alexander either in the deep half or I'm gonna man him up on the tight end one of the two then this guy right here Gilmore I don't know what I'm gonna do with him it really depends what my opponent has been showing me I usually man him up on one um, on either triangle or a square now this guy right here Sherman I'm gonna move him all the way down just to make sure to maximize the chance that he'll play uh, everything and now I'm gonna just go with a simple setup just like this now I'm, I'm gonna snap the ball I'm gonna try to shoot in right there once again I never seen that happen it happened to me a couple of times in practice mode when I just tried to make sure everything works before this video um, but you're still gonna be able to get in so and I'm gonna show you how quickly you can make those adjustments just move this guy down a bit and there, and there we go we have everything set up either deep half man him up or you can put him in a hook curl in the curl flat hook curl is very aggressive hook curl only works if your opponent puts the tight end on something like a post or a curl but if he runs a corner out you're obviously gonna get cooked so hook curl is very aggressive i generally only like manning up deep half or curl flat like i have right here and obviously you have to understand that the blitz has to come in for this to work otherwise if you don't come in there's gonna be voids in the zone and this is obviously where you have to pick your battles. Now the fast, the fast, the final and last thing I want to show you guys is what to do if you see that you're, that the blitz is not going to work. So for example, one thing that I'll do right here is I will go with a setup that is going to absolutely destroy this defense because I'm going to ID my blitzer. And if I see the running back blocking, 
I, ha I really only have one chance. I have... I really have one chance. I, I have to recognize it. Okay, right there. Okay, see, I have Vegas Bucket. Now I have to play coverage. And I have to make... I have to make work, uh, I have to make some very bad coverage work. I won't be able to get in and it doesn't really matter if I'm trying. So if you see a blocked running back and he has shown that he can pick your blitz up, then you really just have to be flexible with it and you have to either stop sending the blitz or keep sending the blitz and just wait for the time he sends out his halfback and try to play as best, co best coverage as possible when he doesn't do it. However, and this is kind of where I want to end it. You're not going to have a lot of people knowing how to pick that blitz up. It's only when you get higher in weekend league, face better players. That's the time we'll face people picking this blitz up. Until then, you're going to have a lot of success with this blitz. It's just about being smart and understanding. All right, it just might not be there. Then you have to adjust a little bit. Maybe go with... Uh, my bad. I'm making kind of bad adjustments right here, but it's fine. You guys are you guys are used to me not being the best player. Same look. I can be blitzing, or if I want to reset this, my bad. I want to reset it all the way. Um, or I can send the absolute heat. One time I can blitz, other time I can send, or I can play coverage. All right. I hope I got gave you guys kind of the idea. The thing with this is that it's. It takes a lot of getting used to because you're generally not sending a user on a blitz. It's difficult at first to get comfortable with not having a user in coverage. I understand that, but it's really gonna elevate your game. And the nice thing is you always have you always have the option to as to stay in nickel three to five. And this this is actually gonna be the next thing that I'll show you guys. How do you play coverage out of nickel three to five? Normal. This is going to be the next video. I'm going to show you how to stop all of the major formations. I've had a lot of success with this formation. If you have inside stuff right there, you can pretty much, you pretty much don't have to worry about the run unless uh, you, unless you're facing something like trip set end. Until then, you're going to play coverage, lights out coverage against pretty much anything. I want to show you guys this in the next video. So make sure to leave me a like, subscribe if you don't want to miss that video because playing coverage, it kind of separates the good from uh, good from bad. Once your opponent figures out how to block your blitz and you don't have any coverage to fall back on, then you're going to be in trouble. So you don't want to miss that coverage video. Also going to show you how to stop punch offset, which is one of the things that I've really struggled a bit against, but I've kind of found some way to play, some ways of playing defense against it. Until then, goodbye, and see you in the next video.